I am Dr. Krishna Kumar, a British and American trained plastic surgeon. I head the plastic reconstructive and aesthetic surgery department in Astemims Hospital. Today we will discuss a common problem that troubles a lot of people. The technical name for that problem is gynecomasia, that is large breasts in males. It's a cosmetic problem, it's a psychological problem, it's a physical problem and it's an emotional problem that tends to drive people to despair and to depression. Extremely common and very 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 easily treatable. This is something that most people actually miss that it's something that's very easily treatable. Usually what we do is there are two elements to gynecomasia, the fat around the chest wall and the actual breast tissue in the center of the chest below the nipple and areola in the male. The fat is amenable to liposuction. So we put two keyholes, one below and one to the side which is hardly hardly noticeable. And through these two keyholes, we suck out the whole of the fat on the chest wall which will reduce the fatty element of the gynecomasia. But the breast tissue does not come out through this liposuction or the two keyholes. So what we do is we put a 2 cm infusion below the black skin, not the areola. It's like a, a hemisphere or a semicircle below the black skin. And through that small infusion, which when it heals is again hardly noticeable, we take out the breast tissue through that small infusion. So the fatty element and the breast element would both be removed through these two keyholes and a small semicircular infusion. And that will completely flatten out the chest, all the bulge, all the unesthetic looking parts and all the depressing elements in the chest wall would be totally completely removed. It can either be done as a daycare procedure where you come in the morning and leave home in the evening or if one is worried about pain on the first day after surgery, we keep them in overnight and you can go the, the next day. Hardly any rest is required. You, you are fully mobile the next day, you will be able to do most things from the next day onwards. Obviously, an operated site, if somebody hits it or, or, or elbows you, it's going to be painful. So you need to be a bit careful about it in the coming week or two. Otherwise, hardly needs hospital admission, hardly needs rest, hardly needs time of work, hardly needs to be the patient to be immobile. So all in all, a reasonably simple procedure, easy to undertake and giving maximum possible benefit and maximum possible satisfaction. If you need any further clarifications or if you have any queries, please be kind enough to contact the number that's given below and someone will be in touch with you. Thank you.